Today is moving day. When we bought these tractors, they needed some work that we, we wanted to put into them. But we saved a lot of money and a lot of time by getting stuff that was already made. This particular one, we added a chicken wire mesh to the, the front and the sides. We also added some, some skid plates on the back. And that, that'll make it easy to move so we don't have to worry about wheels falling off and other things breaking. Here we can see chicken wire put over top of the poly net back behind there. This two layer system should help keep chickens in and possums out. One feature we added to this tractor are skids. These skids prevent the tractor from hanging on grass and rocks and debris on the ground, which will make it easier to move the tractors in grass. The other coop that we have used last year for our broilers was a coop modeled after the Joel Salatin model that he uses at Polyface. This coop is actually smaller than the coop that he uses. He uses a 10 by 10 and this one is an eight by eight. <laughs> I tried.
time you you actually have to catch it. One of the questions that I get asked a lot at the farmer's market is if we will offer Red Rangers. This past spring we did raise Red Rangers. We offered them for sale and we ate them ourselves. But what we found was that they cost more to buy and then they cost more in feed to raise. The Red Ranger was also harder to process and took a lot more input on the labor side to keep in the field and to, and to raise to a processing date. They jumped out. They're very active birds, <laughs> that's for sure. Which is why a lot of people like them. A lot of people felt like they taste better, but we didn't find that to be the truth in our birds. When we processed them, it was much, much harder to get the feathers to come out of them than it is to get a Cornish cross. You might think that it's just a little more effort, but actually the bird during processing has to go through a lot more manual handling to get the feathers out and that can tend to bruise the meat or tear the meat and it's it ends up being less food coming to the table and that's that's more of a challenge for the people processing like ourselves. What we found with our Cornish Cross is that if we keep them active and we move them every day and we feed them a good quality feed that they actually taste just as good and they're much easier to process. If you watch John Siskovich, he, he, he mentions the idea of Cornish Cross versus Red Rangers or other, other types of more active production meat birds. And I, I would highly recommend going to see some of his videos. He breaks it down a lot. He's kind of a pastured poultry guru. When we watched this video, we were pretty sure that we didn't want to do the Red Rangers. But after having so many people ask us and talk about them, we thought it'd be worth trying it out at least. But for our farm and our family, we found that the Cornish Cross were really the best birds for us.